Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X3. Custom ROM reviews. It's applicable for Poco X3. NFC also. Android version is 14. This is nothing but the Pixel OS latest build, guys. April 5, 2024 is the security uh, patch. Kernel version unavailable here and build number is, you can see, 2024-51. That's how the result here. Kernel version unavailable. Anyhow, this is the particular ROM. I am using it for a couple of hours now. And we'll see first the home screen customizations. If I press and hold here, wallpapers and style again, you get these lock screen customizations. Those are present again. Home screen again in the more wallpapers. There are a wallpapers, emoji, on device wallpapers, these crystals, community, all these things are present here. Themed icons are also given as you can see. And app grid, you will get similar to yes prompts up to 5 to 5 is available here let's keep it as a themed icons only if i press and hold here again you also get a widgets option here you can drag and add them for example i want to add this clock here just you can select the different type of clocks here you can actually adjust them press and hold here to again adjust them okay and if you press and hold again home settings you get a pixel launcher obviously it's a pixel os hence you get a pixel launcher pre-installed here and these are the typical quick settings toggles you can see on the screen the good thing is dolby atmos is available with this particular room for the poco x slash nfc it's a good move movie music custom mode i really felt the difference guys i already uh, listened to some music using youtube music and in the edit section there are some options as you can see in the quick settings toggles what is really missing is the sync option that is simply missing here you can't access or turn on or turn off from here app active status can be seen from here and this is the power button and advanced restart button is also available here and this is screen lock screen looks like and this is the uh, typical app driven and apps i am currently using the camera application you get a basic camera here you will get all the support here video uh, you guys can see if i go into settings again photo basic things you can do definitely if you want any advanced things to do using camera then you can use uh, arno G cam lmc ajc camera i already made those videos check out in my channel and arno ability group join the whatsapp group you'll get all the links for that and there is a dedicated whatsapp group available for this poco x slash nfc surya r karna guys again these are the apps i'm using i already shown this dolby atmos for you and we will move into some app results directly from here yeah starting with this one you will get this uh, option please enable storage access permission for that i made a video yesterday you can check out that and long back ago there was another video you can check out that and this is the geekbench 6 score what i got version use is 6.2.2 and the 752 is a single score 1863 is a multi-score links 4.14.340 dark moon death blight kernel has been used this is not shown in the settings panel but here it is you can see links 4.14.340 dark moon death blight kernel has been used standard version 14 and these are the android benchmark results what i got 10.2.5 version i am using and if a slide as you can see 3,73,244 is the score what i got this is the gpu cpu gpu and memory ux you can check out 1.1 degree celsius is the temperature raise and four percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing on this poco x3 using this pixel latest os case you can see basic integrity and cts profile match both getting passed there hence play store is certified you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay yonos pay everything is going to work fine no problem regarding that and this is the drm information hdr 10 support is there refresh rate support up to 120 is there and drm security level one hence you can watch all the ott application in high definition resolution that's not a problem here again guys internet speed connection using my airtel fiber connection i'm getting up to 250 my plan is around 200 mbps and these are the read rate speed test with graphical and this is numericals and this is the charging rapidly support is available in this particular app. let's move into settings very simple guys uh, you will get pixel kind of experience here definitely as you can see smoothness is definitely there but i felt dark fest is a little bit smoother compared to this but it's net picking again guys gestures you get 100 more swipe to screenshot and press and hold power button to digital assistant advanced restart button those things you can access from here if you come back again here uh, location google maps everything is working fine if 
not new not in use disable these two you'll get extra battery life again guys accessibility menu again switch access other things like uh, flash notifications audio adjustment those things are still present here accessibility menu which is my handy feature uh, without actually using the physical buttons you can actually access the volume not just that you will get plenty of options once you download and flash this from try this and flashing method and what firmware is is given in the description and whatsapp group link is also given in the description check out description guys wallpaper sound style i already explained here and display again you get basic settings here like dark theme there is a pitch black used black theme that is also there here which is cool thing as you can see this how looks like in the dark theme i really like it even in the theme diagrams the application of this dark theme is done well colors again natural boosted adaptive is given let me disable dark theme night light feature is also there you can adjust the intensity colors options you get three as i said before refresh it again you get adaptive refresh rate if you want 60 90 you can do it without tap to wake tap to sleep are given full screen apps if certain app is not playing in the full screen select that from here increase touch responsiveness is given the turn on per app refresh rate is also given and now moving into other options like screen saver is given some of the people will always asking about that as you can see that is there working fine no problem regarding that again battery again guys if i can show you battery usage hasn't recorded the battery life is really really good you can check out the start of the video and the end of the video you'll get some idea about that and regarding this battery saver you get extreme battery saver no you don't get it and charging control battery widget other things you get charging control if you turn it on you will get three different modes based on that you can select that based upon usage apps notifications everything remain same here uh, coming into security and privacy you get just fingerprint unlock here no face unlock or even app lock anything like that let me show you the fingerprint unlock speed here and there was a pop-up window that pixel answer keeps stopping uh, don't worry guys uh, early time it will get some bugs like that but after using for a couple of hours it will get solved but overall the ui is smooth here if you want a very simple and basic thing you can definitely try it out as a dialer let's see the bgm how it actually handles in this particular pixel OS. and coming to bgm again guys this is a pixel as you get smooth plus ultra only nothing so fancy here as you can see smooth plus ultra hd plus high you will get it i don't recommend this for gaming let's see how it actually handles at least in the 40 fps it will do better or not let's check that out currently it is fine okay there was a lag during the counter attacks definitely it will impact in the classic matches i don't recommend this as a gaming guys definitely no one will try that for gaming this particular round touch response is fine but you will definitely not gonna get that 90 fps smoothness For the 40 fps it is just seven if you want to use uh, some other apps and to increase the fps you can do that using magic models also but i don't recommend this as a gaming round this and this is how the volume panel looks like and these are the quick settings toggles look like in this particular rom dolby atmos is definitely going to make difference in this particular rom We'll come back here. This is the particular ROM case. If you have any specific questions regarding this particular ROM, comment down in the comment section. This is Pixel Louis Sampath signing off. We'll meet you with another interesting video, guys. Until that, keep smelling. Bye bye for now.